Mario Kart. Good morning, YouTube. My name is Jordan Scott, here on Scott Family Farms, where I farm with my dad. Today, we are planting more corn. We're we'll hopefully finish up in the next day or two. Um, today, I've got to take dad some fertilizer and some seed. He's up north planting on our north ground. So I gotta switch a hitch off of my pickup onto our bigger pickup so that we can pull the fertilizer tank up there. I also gotta put on some seed for him so he can refill. One hand. Ah. Got it. It's getting warm. So we call this truck our farm truck, work truck. It's got some nice body work, you know. Typical Ford. We use it for drainage tile when we install tiles. This is what a drainage tile looks like. It's a plastic tube and there's holes in it. It's perforated so that water can get into it and drain out of the fields. We use this truck for that and I've just got some extra pieces and junk in the back that I gotta clean out before I put seed in there. That was my dad's cousin, Keith. He lives uh, about a mile from me. Everybody's getting work done today. He does drive green though, so. Like a glove. I think it's illegal to have Pioneer and DeKalb in the same pickup at the same time. I'm not sure. So if you don't know, Pioneer and DeKalb are main competitors. DeKalb is owned by Bayer now, and Pioneer is called Corteva. AgriScience is their company, I guess. Both of these companies produce very good corn, and we mostly plant DeKalb. My dad sold the kelp for a long time and uh, he's kind of loyal to it, but we still try other stuff. If you're not trying new things on your farm, you're just uh, staying the same and we're always looking to improve. So while we're not pioneer people, we do plant some pioneer and uh, it was some of our better corn last year. Got the seed loaded, now I gotta go hook on to the fertilizer tender and pull that up north for dad. When I see a big turbo diesel pickup, 
making a lot of noise. When I drive a big turbo diesel pickup, making a lot of noise. I got another question from my buddy Kellen. Kellen, thanks for watching my videos. Kellen's been a big fan since day one, so I appreciate that. Kellen asked uh, why we rotate our crops. The reason behind rotating crops is each plant, whether it's corn or soybeans, they take different nutrients out of the soil. Now, if you would plant corn on corn on corn, year after year, it'd take a lot more money to fertilize that ground and put enough nutrients back into the soil to keep uh, the plants healthy. So we rotate our crops for a couple reasons. One is to diversify our products so we don't just have all corn. If the corn market's terrible, which it is. Then we have some beans to sell, which it's terrible also. We rotate so we have different commodities to sell at different prices and different times. Right now the markets are terrible, but there's a lot of things going on in the world that affect that, so we're sticking to our plan that has worked for the last 80 to 100 years on our farm and yes it might be a downtime but things will get better they always do you just gotta have faith that stuff will turn around and you'll be okay we made it up north with the fertilizer and the seed just gotta park it next to the shed here so dad can come get it and then i'm gonna take the finisher home so that we have it back at my place and we'll get ready for putting some beans in the ground. Aww. Almost forgot you guys. All right, we're heading back to my place with the cat and the finisher. Dad's over here planting. He's, I can see him. Need to go get some more parts for the finisher before we get going again. I'm gonna head over and do that. And then uh, we'll put them on and maybe wash it up quick. It's dirty again, but let's go get some parts. Just picked up the parts I needed, and we're heading back home. Just put some mints in my mouth. Don't YouTube and eat mints at the same time. I picked up 10 shovels or sweeps or shanks or whatever you want to call them. I think 10 should get us through. It seems like no matter how many parts you get, it's either too many or not enough. So if I have to come back over and get some more, that's fine. If I get 10, I'll break 12, and if I buy 12, I'll break 2. Just seems like it works out that way all the time. Time for some more fuel. This cat is thirsty. This is why we need to replace some of those. This bottom one's a new one. This one's obviously the old one. There, that is, can't see it on my truck. That's how much we've worn down off of that. I got six sweeps replaced on the finisher and we're headed out to the field to get our first bean ground ready. So we are moving again. Dad's up planting corn. He's got about 100 acres left. It's supposed to rain tonight, but I'm trying to get a field done before the rain comes.
again. I am on some old corn ground that's going to beans today. This is our first field that's going to beans that we're working up. We have uh, ripped this field last fall with our ripper. That's a little deeper tillage and it makes it pretty rough. Uh, it was also pretty cold and wet when I did rip this last fall. So there's some big clumps. Well, it's just rough out here. So we are smoothing it out before Dad gets the planter over in here. I'll show you guys the ground a little closer here so you can kind of tell what it looks like before and then after we go over it. This is what it looks like after we ripped it before I have gone over it with the finisher. And it's pretty rough. And this is after I went over it with the finisher. It's still kind of rough, but it's a lot better. So I'm actually going a little slower here in this rough corn ground. Uh, I'm going about half a mile an hour slower. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it's quite a bit when you're in a field. Uh, the reason I'm going slower is because it's pretty rough out here. It's hard on the equipment. If it's too rough, you'll get waves in the field and bouncing. You don't want you don't want that to be bouncing when you're going through the field. You want it to be smooth and flat. So I slowed down a little bit. I would rather do a good job than a fast job. So we're going a little slower, taking our time, making sure we get it done right and not just quick. I'm gonna go home. So, a tiny gun, Joe. Right? A tiny gun, Joe. 